Guys, this could very well be the most brutal servo test I have ever done. The Reese RC Beast 1000 is going into the Creighton without a servo saver. Oh yeah. Guys, I'm going to show this to you on the table, get it put in, test it, set those endpoints, and get it outside and see what it's got. Take a look. Okay, to the left you got the stock, and that uses the big old servo saver, the factory one. And uh, over here, obviously that beast. So... I had to space this forward to get clearance back here. The servo, fifth scale servo, is also a little bit long on the back side, so I had to space that forward. And even if I did get this onto there, the little uh, piece that rides up at the front that rides on the bearing, it will be out of alignment. So this is what I've done. You can see I've got some quarter inch spacers I made for it. Uh, to bring the servo forward so I didn't have to get into the receiver box and uh, oh boy this is going to be interesting the only thing that can give besides maybe some plastic flex will be this rod end right here uh, this is going to be an insane test really I haven't got it bolted in but it's in position the alignment is not that bad so maybe but see that Vitavon bell crank right there? That is not going to give. If there's any give, it's got to be in the flex of the wheels and tires, which these are the Proline Badlands. They are known for being kind of tough. <laughs> but I've got plastic ends there, there, the arms themselves. And like I said, like, like I showed you guys, that right there is going to be, uh, that's probably going to be my servo saver right there. Guys, it is in, powered up. I've got the end point set. That's at eight volts. Let's see. <laughs> now, I also want to show you guys, not sure if you noticed it, but I've got this on the inner hole here, not the outermost top hole. That way it has uh, less leverage against the servo. It will be a little bit faster by ratio if it was at the outer hole, but um, this is where we're going to give it a run and <laughs> oh this is going to be rough I'm a little bit nervous oh the tires are absolutely turning It still has the push though. So uh, I guess it's time to hit some jumps. <laughs> this is going to be crazy. We're going to hit the baby jump first. <laughs> That's not what we came to see though. Granted, nice flat landing. That's not going to happen every time, though. That was beautiful, and I got it in slow mo. <laughs> Let's try a little bit of a. <laughs> I know I'm babying it. We're going to the big hill. Wow. Woo. Just a little nervous. Ah, the big hill. There is no landing for this thing. It's just going to be flat landing right on the ground. Oh, let's see what I can do here. Again, another flat landing. <laughs> Now, I am doing some air driving now. You guys are watching that, right? Oh, that was off to the right, the left. Still in there. Oh, did not have enough juice for that backflip. 
Woo, I had to kind of break it out. All right, let's, uh, well, landed it again. I still haven't had one of those big old horrific cartwheels yet. Oh, that was a hard one. <laughs> it's still alive. It took it. That's awesome. <laughs> I can't tell you guys the last time I've been nervous driving something. It was probably yesterday. I don't want to just let it nose dive and bend the stock chassis up because then I'll have to get another one of those uh, M2C chassis. <sighs> Oh, there was a good one. It's still alive. Right, let's go ahead and take a peek at this thing. You can see the nose is pushed in. So, have hit it a few times. Now, if this thing is proportionally as strong as the Raw 500, this thing is going to be unbeatable. Everything is still there. That is... uh. Still looking good. All right, body back on, back to driving. Ready to go. God, that was a hard back end landing. I'm surprised. Oh my goodness. I gotta go work on it. You guys gotta look at this. That was a hard back end landing. Before I can continue, I got to at least try to straighten this out. Let me flip it over. This is what happened on that one. So I'm gonna take it loose, hammer that out, and be back in just a few seconds. Okay, let's back up. Well, all right. So far, so good. Well, I broke it. Of all the things to break, I broke the on-off switch to the castle. That is just loose. Well, heck. <laughs> I found a stick that pushed it to the on position. Probably not going to last long, but I'll do that again. I don't want to carry this thing. It's a long walk. All right. Servo's doing great. Let's get a little more of this uh, just hitting at any angle. See if I can get some bad landings here. I have a natural reaction when I think I can fix it in the air, I do it.
I did it again. I should have let it crash, shouldn't I? Uh. And I don't want to intentionally crash it, uh, but I do want to see what it's got. That was a hard one. Another hard one. Haha, <laughs> nice nose plant there. Good, nice last jump. Ah, uh, the thing survived. Can you believe it? It survived. Now, uh, I, I really have this thing. I don't go. I don't ever go out to try to break something. Testing is one thing. Um, I've, I, I generally, if I see that I can correct it in the air, you know, left turn, right turn, throttle, break. It's just habit by now. So, and I did that quite a bit with this, and this thing reacts really well. It really flies great, a lot of control. Um, so yeah, probably could have had a few more crashes, but I just instinctively just drove out of it. But uh, there was a few, like the one right up in front of me. If you look at this right here, uh, something gave. I'm not sure whether it was the servo just allowing it to move or whether the plastic flexed or any of that. But overall, it's still working. Fine. No new noises. I'm I'm happy. I am uh, pleasantly surprised. Um, now, granted, I didn't jump it over a house and land directly on one side, which that'll blow the whole side of the truck off. The arms will just break loose pretty easy on that. Um, I didn't uh, get into a crazy high-speed cartwheel either. So, um, how long would the servo survive like this? I honestly don't know, but it did fine back there. It did good. <laughs> uh, servo survived. Now, in the description, we'll link the 1000 and the 2000. Um, I'll also link whatever I've got on the truck here, which, uh, let me see, I got some Vitavon here, Vitavon there. I got stuff on the truck. I'll link it all for you guys. So, guys, check that description. Those links are there, they are affiliate links. Uh, they help out the channel when you guys use them. So, guys, I appreciate when you guys use them. Um, if you're still watching, you're awesome. So, guys, check that description. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. And thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.